First, we're finally getting a look at the proposed location for Austin's newest homeless shelter. It's all part of an effort to address homelessness in all around the city of Austin, not just in downtown. It'll be located in South Austin off of Ben White Boulevard. There are two elementary schools with a, a mile of this building. It's also right across the street from St. David South Austin Medical Center. KXN's Lisa Gord shows us the plan council members will be voting on and the reaction from some people who live nearby. So this is the spot where the city is looking to put its new homeless shelter. You can see it's office space right now. The city is looking to acquire this 1.66 acre tract and they're not sure yet just how much it will cost to renovate it. This spot is located just off of Ben White, right near Bannister Lane. Take a look. It's less than a mile from Galindo Elementary and St. David's South Austin Medical Center. To pay for the building, the land, and the future services, the city would take on up to $8.6 million in long-term debt. According to staff, it would have no impact on taxpayers until at least the 2021 fiscal year. But this is the first time in a long time that the city intends to invest, you know, capital dollars in, you know, bricks and mortar to expand shelter. It's part of the city's goal to set up a few smaller shelters around Austin. City leaders say this will not be the same type of shelter as the Arch downtown. It won't be taking, you know, walk in or drop in uh, homeless people. It's going to be built for people who are already accessing services. An online petition is already circulating, opposing the proposed location. But Councilmember Ellis says she thinks city staff identified the best spot. Actually very close to affordable housing that is currently built and it's accessible to transit and it's also very close to where people are currently homeless. Johnny Kurt agrees. He lives in Foundation Communities apartments next door. He was homeless six years ago and says housing was what got him on the path to stability. I think uh, it's great. It's the best thing we need. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. City staff picked this specific location for a number of reasons, including that council asked them not to pick a spot directly next to a neighborhood. Council could vote on these resolutions Wednesday or Thursday. As of the same day, council will vote on whether to get rid of the city's no sit, no lie ordinance. It keeps people from sitting or lying down in right of ways and sidewalks downtown. People who want to keep the law say it's a way to protect businesses. Critics say the criminal penalty makes it more difficult for people trying to transition out of homelessness. 